All right, we're back to another step of remote desktop. This time we're going to actually observe some computers on the network. Uh, if you didn't watch the first video, you should go back and watch that one now. Uh, there are two changes that I prefer to make in the preferences so that things run smoother. I'll show you how to do that in the previous video. But now we're going to launch remote desktop and we we'll go up to the spotlight menu. I'm going to start typing in remote desktop and we'll launch it. Now for convenience, you may want to keep this in your dock. The way to do that is to just right click or two finger click on the uh, remote desktop icon in the dock. Go to options and select keep in dock. And now it'll stay in my dock and I'll be easily uh, able to launch it whenever I need to. When remote desktop launches, you'll see we have a window that is actually a scanner uh, that is showing computers that are on the network that are ready for remote desktop connections. What we're going to do now is we're going to actually connect to one of these. And the way we do that is we actually select the name of the computer and then we can click on observe. It's going to ask you for the username and password. Now your network administrator or your MacBook administrator should be able to provide you with a username and password. I know what mine are. So I just type those in and now we'll see that I can actually view what's taking place on that other computer that's on the network. This is actually my mini server that's in my office and you can see that I am uploading a video to YouTube related to remote desktop. That is observing the computer. Now notice if I click on it or interact in any way, the cursor is white. The mouse cursor is actually white, showing that I do not have control. But if I want to change to control mode, I go up to this little button in the top left. It says switch between control and observe mode. When I click on control, now when I click on that computer, you can see I can drag things around. Now it can be a bit, bit confusing, especially when you look at the bottom, I have two docks. Keep in mind that the dock that is at the very bottom is for my computer. The dock that is next is actually inside the window of remote desktop. So that is the dock for the other computer. So I want to turn control back over to them. I'm going to unclick that button and now you see I cannot control. No matter how much I click, nothing will happen on the other computer. Only whenever it's in control mode, which is given there. I'm going to close that window and show you something very important. These are three computers that are on my network right now. And you'll see the one I just attached to has a little blue dot right here beside it. That means that it has uh, saved my credentials. So the next time I double click on it, I can observe but I do not have to put in my username and password for that computer. I'll close that out. Let's look at this. On the left, we'll see it says scanner. The scanner is actually scanning my local network. Uh, up above that, it says all computers. All computers are only the computers that I have ever connected to using remote desktop. Once you connect to a computer, it is moved into the all computers list automatically. So if I needed to recall one of those later on, it's going to be easily found there. I'll go back to my scanner. If I want to observe multiple computers, the way I do that is I can click on one, hold down the shift key, click on an additional computer, and then I can hit observe and I can watch both of them. And notice I haven't connected to the Hurt iMac yet, but I put in my password and now I can watch two computers at one time. I can watch up to 25 simultaneously in a single window. And if I do more than that, it actually rotates between the windows. So that shows you how you can watch more than one computer. Now, if I need to actually interact with it, I cannot control two computers simultaneously, but I can select them from this window by clicking on it. Notice it has a blue highlight and then I can actually click on the control button and it will allow me to uh, control it. So I can close that window and go back over here and I can control this one. Now if I select both at the same time and hit control, I'm going to get an error because I can only control one remote computer at a time. Look in my list, you'll see that I have these two computers and I have one that I have not connected to. That's actually the computer I am using. And if I try to do that, you'll see I cannot control or observe my own screen. So if you run across that message, it's because you tried to use remote desktop to control your own computer. The next video, we're going to actually make a list of computers so that you can organize all of the students who are in your classrooms throughout the day.